Hello everybody, my name is Gregory Close and for my capstone I created a model that predicts ambulance demand hotspots throughout the city of Austin. And as the saying goes, for every complicated topic known to man, there is a Tom Cruise movie out there to help explain it. So the movie I chose is uh, Minority Report. So in the movie Minority Report, Tom Cruise plays a cop from the future who through the use of these three psychics pictured below, predicts a crime before it happens. And uh, I was thinking about the movie and I was like, this is completely unrealistic, there's no way you can predict crime before it happens. But I just completed a three month data science immersive and I've been thinking about the movie lately and I realized Tom Cruise is not only a cop, he's a data scientist. And those three psychics are actually machine learning algorithms. So for the purposes of this presentation, I want you to imagine that me, Greg Close, I'm Tom Cruise, and my three psychics are actually machine learning algorithms. And the specific machine learning algorithm I want to focus on is the K-means cluster. More on that later. So to further drive on the point, uh, the way the process works now is somebody makes a call to 911, and 911 dispatch sends over an ambulance vehicle. Now what I'm trying to do, is, I'm trying to flip that over. I'm trying to predict where an ambulance vehicle will be needed before a call is ever made. So, I promise you I'll go into it. So, K means clustering. So, I want you to think of these as randomly placed points on a white backdrop. And I want you to try to attempt to take these points and to put them into a certain amount of groups. So, if you're like me, you look at this and you say, well, there are obviously two groups here. There's a group over there, and there's a group right here. Perfect. So what we're going to do is we're going to have the computer try to perform that same exact group. So the first thing we do is we tell the computer how many groups we think there are. And we do that with the use of centroids. And for the purposes of this presentation, centroids will be represented by an orange triangle and a blue one. So we have our centroids placed, then the computer is going to group those. See that half is blue, that half is orange. But we're not quite there yet because these things are called centroids, so they're going to try and find the center of the cluster. So the computer iteratively moves these points until it finds the center. Great, we just did k-means clustering, but what does that mean? Well, let's try to make it a little more intuitive. Instead of an arbitrary white background, let's think of this as the city of Boston. And instead of these being random points, I want you to think of these as latitudes and longitudes for specific locations where ambulances were sent to. And now, what are these centroids? We have these triangles, but they mean nothing. Well, for the purposes of my project, I thought of these centroids as ambulance vehicles. So, if we have a bunch of incidences, and we have a very, very limited amount of ambulance vehicles, then perhaps we can use this model to properly uh, prioritize how many ambulance vehicles we should have for a specific time of day in a specific city. Um, furthermore, we can also use these centroids and think about them as uh, future locations to build um, ambulance stations. If we have uh, projection data for where incidents are going to happen, let's say, in the year 2025, up until then, then we can say, well, the trend is moving in a certain direction, let's build our ambulance stations accordingly. So, a uh, wise man once told me that a demo is worth thousand PowerPoint slides. So this is uh, the web app I created right here. Um, so let's say you are a person, a paramedic working for the city of Austin, and uh, you're working on a Wednesday. Let's say it's uh, 12 o'clock, and you know that there are three EMS vehicles on staff, and you want to know where to position them. Great, it worked. So, I want you, uh, these blue circles are the hot spots that my model predicted, and all these red dots are where uh, incidents have occurred over the last five years historically in Austin. And as you can see, there's a lot of activity in uh, downtown Austin. That's probably because people go out there, the population is young, and we have uh, 315 incidences specifically in that location. Uh, so now let's go back to uh, back to the presentation. Great. So 
some future work I would like to do is uh, I would like to work with the city of Austin to get uh, more precise incident data. Um, because the way it works is the city of Austin didn't actually give me specific points on a map where an incident occurred. They rather gave me something called census block information. And that's because this data is highly sensitive information. If I were given a person's address and uh, I know the disposition of the call, then I can conceivably figure out the identity of said person. And obviously the city of Austin doesn't want to release that information. Um, but that's my project, and uh, if you are interested in learning about it a little bit more, uh, feel free to go to my GitHub. Um, you guys can also check out my talent profile on Galvanize or contact me on LinkedIn if you have any questions.